Hey everyone, this is Abdul Hamid back again with another awesome tutorial. So lately I was busy in my life doing some projects and I was also playing uh, this game the, called Apex Legend. Most of you know what, is, uh, what this game is. So it is a game by EA. In this game there are uh, several characters and one of them is called Wraith. The character Wraith has the ability to create uh, tunnels or portals through which the player can jump from one point in the map to other point faster. So uh, this is uh, how it looks in the game uh, and now I'm gonna show you how to create this exact same portal for your videos for your VFX short films uh, inside After Effects using a free plugin called Saber uh, the link to the plugin will be in the description it is a free plugin by video copilot so you can download it from the description and let's jump into the tutorial so I'm right here in After Effects uh, this is the image I'm gonna be using today. It is it is a still image uh, I don't have any video right now because it's dark outside uh, So I can't shoot anything right now. So I'll be using just this image You can also use a video, but I'm gonna use this still image So first of all what I'm gonna do is just right click on the timeline and create a new solid I'm gonna name it portal now click ok uh, go up here to the rectangle tool press and hold and select ellipse tool now using this ellipse tool create uh, an ellipse right at the center of the composition I'm uh, pressing and holding control key so it stays at the center so this is our portal right now so this looks good after this uh, select the portal go to effects and presets and type in saber as I told you at the start of the video, this uh, plugin by Video Copilot is free. You can uh, check the link in the description, download it from there, install it, and then uh, come back to the video and follow each step. So I'm gonna go and uh, drag the Saber plugin onto my portal layer right here. So as you can see, uh, we have a straight Saber. Now let's make sure the uh, Saber follows the path that we created, that ellipse. So for that, uh, go into the Saber, go to Customize Core, Core Type, change it to Layer Mask. So as you can see now, the Saber is following our path. You can change the path and it will still follow it. So now let's change the appearance of the Saber. So for that, go to the Presets and select Arc Reactor. So here it is. I think the color are a bit vibrant so I'm gonna make it light blue so we are done with the first portal layer I'm gonna duplicate it multiple times and give each uh, layer different uh, values so it gives more depth to the portal so I think I'm done with this first one after doing this uh, select the portal layer uh, go to the blending mode right here uh, if you don't see the blending mode press F4 on your keyboard F4 or hit this key switch transfer controls menu now you'll see your blending mode change the blending mode from normal to add now we have a transparent background when you are done with this go to the portal layer and duplicate it again now select the top portal layer go to distortion under saber go to core distortion as you can see change uh, it from smoke to fluid and uh, increase the distortion value to something about 40 now inside core distortion uh, you'll see motion blur right here uh, change it to 2 now I'm gonna repeat the same process again now let's go and duplicate the portal layer again inside our third portal layer come down to distortion and in distortion come down to core distortion and change the distortion type from fluid to energy I'm gonna set this value to 5 uh, come down to motion blur and change it to 5 also I think we are done with the basic stuff right now so after that I'm gonna select the first portal layer which is uh, this one which is not much distorted I'm gonna go and type in in effects and preset turbulent turbulent displays 
drag and drop it on the first portal layer change the size to 50 leave the amount to 50 and press and hold alt key on your keyboard remember press and hold alt key on your keyboard and click the stopwatch of evolution so you will get this box now type in time star 150 so this expression will control the evolution value so it will give this layer some evolution and will keep distorting it so it doesn't stay static uh, i think uh, this portal is kind of overexposed so what i'm gonna do is just change the blending mode of the first two from add to screen so change the first one to screen change the second one to screen and leave the third one to add so after this uh, i'm gonna select the bottom most uh, uh, portal layer and duplicate it now select the bottom one and uh, uh, select the saber effect and press delete on my keyboard so it's gonna delete everything and delete the turbulent displacement as well now go to layer solid settings and change the color to black as you can see we cannot see any black color right now because it's uh, blending mode is uh, at add right now so i'm gonna go and uh, change it to normal so now we can see the black solid layer after this i'm gonna select the portal 2 which is this black one and press m on my keyboard to bring down the mask uh, select the mask and press ctrl plus d to duplicate it and change the lower one to subtract now i'm gonna go to the properties of mask 2 and decrease the expansion value like this and change the feather value like this now let me rename each layer i'm gonna call it portal 1 portal 2 and portal 3 after this i'm gonna select the portal 1 layer and duplicate it now we have portal 4 a duplicate let's place it beneath the portal 1 double click on the mask on portal 4 and change it to circle something like this a circle so we don't want an ellipse right now now select the portal 4 layer uh, go to the preset and change it from arc reactor to fusion so right here uh, as you can see it also changed its color so we can change it back to a bluish color light bluish go down to distortion glow distortion increase the distortion amount like this you can also play with the wind speed i'm gonna go and change it to one from minus one so right now right now i'm satisfied with what i'm seeing on my screen after this i'm gonna go and uh, uh, type in fast blur i'm gonna drop a fast blur on portal 4 layer and increase its value to something 5 now after that i'm gonna go and select the cc radial fast blur and drop it on the portal 4 layer and change its value to 30 i guess and change the fast blur value to 2 after that I'm gonna go and, and decrease its opacity something 40 as you all know this is a still image so if you are dealing with a video that uh, has a movement in it uh, so what you can do is select the video and go to the tracker and track camera in 3d space when everything is tracked you have a 3d scene you can change all these portal layers uh, from 2d to 3d using this then you will have a three-dimensional portal in your three-dimensional video so i think we are almost done I'm gonna go and color correct this image. Now let's create a blue solid. Something like this. Place it beneath everything except the image. Hide the solid. Create an ellipse right here. Now let's bring it back press m two times on your keyboard 
press F4 to bring up the blending mode so change it from normal to add play with its value So as far as I know After Effects, this is the easiest way you can do this effect in After Effects. If you uh, learned anything from this video, please drop a like down below. It helps a lot. Uh, comment down what you think about this video, about this channel. If you have any requests for tutorial, please drop it down in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. I need subscribers. I'm stuck uh, with a very low number of subscribers. It's been two years I'm doing uh, YouTube and it's still kind of slow. So please subscribe to the channel if you are new if you are already subscribed well done so that was all for today i'll meet you guys in the next video which i hope is soon so signing out peace